So what do we got here today? We have another projector. Now, in a previous video, you'll see that I tested out the DB Power T20. Um, I got that on sale for maybe $78. Thanks, Dave. And um, I knew that was gonna work out fairly well, so the T21 model also went on sale. Um, unfortunately, the T21 was dead out of the box, and the manufacturer would not uh, give me another one at the same price. I just wanted them to swap it with a good one. They wouldn't. So even though that would have been a good one to buy, that was uh, 1,500 lumens. I was kind of mad at the vendor. I can understand why, but just give me a working one. I'll ship you this one. Give me another one. They wouldn't do that. That was through Amazon. So I did some looking around, found some information on this. This one is uh, a box. This is actually a newer 2017 model. The older model, I think, was a claim 2,000 lumens. This one claims uh, 2,400 lumens. Again, grain of salt kind of thing. Um, so this, and if you could see that, is uh, Gubang US T22 FBA. It's interesting, these projectors have similar model numbers. Like all the Chinese manufacturers of the $40 model I've been buying, we're all called the something 30. The um, DB Power was a T20, T21, and this is T22. So um, it's interesting that, uh, you know, it's probably all the same internal guts, just external packaging, you know. So let's take a look to see what we got here. Now I bought this knowing it was missing a certain feature, at least according to the description. We have here an HDMI cable, nice of them. Uh, we have a regular power cord, which is great. I hate those power bricks. Uh, it's not that long though, it's probably like uh, four feet or so. Uh, this is a audio video input, so it's not output to headphones. So you would need a headphone uh, extension cable. And I bought a like a five pack of 10 footers for like six bucks. That worked out okay. Same remote control as the DB Power. That tells you something. Well, it makes it easier because I can use the same remote, but same companies overall. And this is the stand quarter 20, which means they don't have a separate stand. You have to take this out in order to use the tripod. And that's what I'm finding amongst these. So let's take out the A-Box already. Wow, this has got a lot of weight to it. Uh, manual, it's not as uh, thick as the DB Power. The T20 had it in color. The T21 was black and white. This one's a thinner black and white. Not that that means a whole lot, but it is what it is. Let's take this out. We're also gonna do a little comparison today with this stuff. Wow, this has got some weight. So uh, it's white. Again, I would prefer black because when they're outside, it's, it's more helpful for hiding it. But uh, this one's got chrome buttons. Ooh, pretty makes it look high tech, right? Um, the lens cover looks bigger than the other one that I have. So you got the uh, focus. You have the, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's to keep it from looking like a trapezoid. So if you're not dead on with the kit, uh, with the screen, you're down or off, that helps you um, adjust that. If the turn comes to me, I'll let you know. Uh, power cord. On this side, I guess this one does have it, but uh, you know, you have uh, the headphone, the uh, audio video input, VGA, only one USB with a T21 dB power, and the T20 had two, I believe, HDMI, and this one does have SD. There was a model I was looking at that had 2600 lumens. I probably got it confused. That 2600 lumen one, um, did not have an SD slot. While it's not the end of the world, I like options. And, you know, if I have an SD card laying around, I want to be able to use it. So, uh, and again, if we go on the bottom, there's only one thread here, which kind of bothers me a little bit. I would have liked them to have put a quarter 20 on the side so that I could put the projector on its side. I mean, I have uh, umbrella uh, swivel adapters and stuff, but it would just make it so much easier. They're making the assumption you're gonna mount it this way, and 99% of the time you are, but with the effects I'm using this for, this is the way it goes. So I have uh, some little gadgets and gizmos to help with that. So uh, without waiting any longer, I'm gonna set uh, a demo up so you can take a look and uh, 
we'll show you a little comparison so stay tuned okay this is the image with the cheap $40 eBay projector uh, like you could kind of make out the image a little bit and that's with the light over the house off so as you can see not too bright and when that light is on above it it's even worse so last year we had to shut off the kitchen light and so forth so what I'm gonna do is uh, shut those off for you and show you what that looks like now this is what all the lights in the house shut off so much more visible um, so let's go to the next one again this was the $40 cheap eBay projector um, probably would only be ideal for smaller items I kinda took it to the limit with this one okay and while I have to uh, adjust the projector I couldn't get it back far enough without interference from other the stairs this is the a box 2400 lumen as you can see you can actually see it with the light turned on I can't wait to see it with the lights turned off okay lights are turned off uh, let's see what this looks like yeah that looks pretty good it looks actually really good with the lights off um, I again I just have to adjust everything but that looks pretty awesome right there all right one more time with the lights on turn on the outside light okay now as you can see the outside light is on let's see what the skeleton looks like if you can actually see it oh yeah you can definitely see it the $40 Chinese one doesn't hold a candle but then again the $40 this is a hundred forty dollars so it's a question of whether you it's worth the money now I'm gonna turn back all the lights on and you can still see it so that means okay so what I'm gonna do is one more thing I'm gonna turn it on to what I would do while passing out candy which means dimly lit uh, living room lights and maybe I'll see what the so I can see and we'll go from there one more time with all the lights on yeah that's so much better I don't know if I would say it's four times better but it's definitely better and this is with the living room light on so I could see normally I have it off this is the with the living room light on dim so I can actually uh, see people and walk down the stairs without tripping and that's still pretty good so overall I'm happy with this so uh, on to the next test all right so this is the DB power 1500 lumen outside with the porch light on so that looked pretty good so let's let that pop up one more time again the DB power uh, T20 one thing that concerns me is one of the USB ports aren't working on it and I'm not sure why that kind of bothers me uh, so we'll see what happens let's see here there we go so it looks good so now we're gonna shut off the porch light so now the porch light is shut off and that still looks pretty good granted the 2400 lumen a box looked even better so uh, I think we're in, in pretty good shape I can actually have a light on inside the house and not kill myself um, so that's good so again this is the DB power which a non-working USB port is now starting to worry me again because we already know DB power doesn't uh, honor replacement because uh, it's a fulfilled by Amazon Prime thing so that's that and so this is the uh, DB power um, T20 uh, now this camcorder is pretty good so this is the HFG 30 or whatever it's called so this is going to compensate for that somewhat so uh, but yeah you can even still see the uh, skeleton from the door so this looks pretty good and this isn't overdriven this is just running in dynamic mode I'm not overpowering it because I could turn up more power but then the background uh, looks uh, lit and that kind of makes it look less real I would have preferred to have put the see-through fabric here and uh, with this new projector that might be possible so, but I'm going to throw in the new projector here see what it looks like and uh, we'll give you a show of that one actually before I pack this one up and put on the uh, 
the new one here, I want to show you with the skeletons because that's going to be the comparison that you saw in the other videos. So here we go. This is with again with the DB Power T20 and it looks pretty good outside. This is using a shower curtain, which is a, a frosted one. But again, I want to use a special material. It's like a bridal mesh almost. I got a Joanne Fabrics. And uh, ideally, I would want that in the backyard because you can actually see right through it. With this, it kind of looks more fake because you can see the outline of the fabric. I mean, it's still great for the kids, but so you can see the yellow of the skeleton in there. Anyway, let's uh, now on to the A-Box uh, 2400 Lumen. Okay. This is the A-Box uh, 2017 model, 2400 lumen. Definitely much brighter outside. Uh, and it should be, because the DB Power is rated 1500. So, uh, we'll wait for the skeleton. While that's happening, a couple things I'd like to say. The A-Box has to be set back a good bit further to fill up the same area. It's gonna be further back. Another thing, the A-Box only has an infrared sensor in the front, not in the back. So. From inside the house with the A box, uh, sorry, inside the house with the DB power, I could change the setting because it was right there. So that's not the end of the world because it's not like I'm going to change it often, but that's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, number two, if everything's based on retail, the DB power at $100, this one at $140, this is definitely worth $40 more, the $140. But the DB power was on sale for $78. So it's a harder call. This one for outside is definitely good. The DB Power is acceptable, as long as you use it with the shower curtain. I'm gonna to try to do one more of these, maybe tomorrow we'll see with the, uh, with the uh, mesh. Um, for inside the house, if you're gonna have lights on, either work well. However, the A-Box just is better. Um, so I may consider using the A-Box uh, inside or here depending I have to see how well uh, it works now if you look in the front window door you can see that's the $40 one it's okay but all the lights are off in the house and here you look in here look how much better that looks that's just crazy talk um, so again $40 in the front door right now versus $140 it's a hard call. If you're going to use the $40 one to just do a, a, an image really close, like the three singing pumpkins, that's fine. Or if it's in a room that's 100% dark, like I do it in these windows here, it's perfect, the $40 one. This one here, it's kind of rich for my blood, but now using it, I wish instead of buying the couple of $40 ones that I would have just uh, bought one more good one. But uh, that's a, it's a learning experience, and hopefully you guys learn from my goofs. Um, and again, this is still an LED projector, and a lot of people do not like LED projectors for one reason or another, and they're valid. But the bulbs in some of these are cost as much as a projector. You know, you're spending for an original bulb is $150, and if you find it cheaper, it says, oh, original Epson. No, it's an Epson casing, but they put in a cheap manufacturer bulb that doesn't last. This has 50,000 hours. If it lasts what it's supposed to, I won't have to worry about it anytime soon. I did pick up the extended warranty for cheap money for four years, so that's a consideration as well. This is the A box on that projection screen from behind. Them. Anyway, thanks for joining me. I hope you got something out of this, and we'll see you on the next one.